Shabbat Shalom, fam from Messiah Yeshua. Shabbat Shalom to the worldwide YouTube and social media community. This is your beloved brother, Shaul Yisrael, coming back again with another Yahweh's five message. I'll be reading from the book of Revelation, chapter 18, and starting at verse 4. The book of Revelation, chapter 18, starting at verse 4, and I read, And I heard another voice from Shamim saying, Come out of her, my people. They be, be not partaken of her sins, and they receive not her plagues. And turn to Second Corinthians chapter 6, and starting at verse 14. 2 Corinthians chapter 6, starting at verse 14, I read, Be ye not an equally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness, and what communion have light with darkness, and what conquers high homage with Belial? And what part has he to believe with an infidel? And what agreement has the temple of El with idols? For you are the temple of the living El, as El has said, I will dwell in them and walk in them, and I will be their El, and they shall be my people. We will come out from among them and be you separate, said Yahweh. And touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. And we and we'll be our bondsmen. He shall be our sons and daughters, says Yahweh and Mighty. And turn to Ephesians. Chapter 5, or rather Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 11. Ephesians 5 and verse 11, I read, And have no fellowship with the fruit works of darkness, but rather reproof. I read that to say this Yahweh commands us as his disciples to have no fellowship. To have no association, to have no agreement with sinners, with the transgressors of Yahweh's word. That means this we cannot walk hand in hand or walk in agreement with the children of disobedience. So you can't have fellowship with a false church. Or a false assembly. So what is a false assembly? It is an assembly. Or a camp. Or a group. That is not established. In the word of Yahweh. Any assembly. Any camp. Any church. That is not established in the word of Yahweh. Is not Yahweh's assembly. And again, I say the foundation of Yahweh is predicated upon six principles of Yahweh's doctrine. That is belief in one God. That is belief in mere man Christology. That is belief in the new birth according to Acts 38. That is belief in the feast days according to Leviticus chapter 23. There's belief in the diet instruct as I am at in Leviticus chapter 11. And there's belief in living set apart. Yahweh's the symbol. The body of Messiah Yeshua is established upon the foundation of the word of Yahweh. So if you are in an assembly that lack those six principles of the doctrine of Yahweh, there is not planted by y'all as a false assembly, the false church is not leading you to life eternal, it leading you to eternal damnation and we're instructed of Yahweh to mark them, they cause divisions and offenses contrary to the Seraphite scripture and not fellowship with them we're commanded to come out from the congregation of the dead we must separate ourselves from the congregation of the dead and damned and be one with Yahweh. And if you're one with Yahweh, you'll be one with all persons who are likewise one with Yahweh. That means this. If you're born of Yahweh, you'll have blessed and sweet fellowship with all who are likewise born of Yahweh. And to be born of Yahweh, is to obey or be obedient to Acts 2.38. So,
So we are commanded not to have fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. We're not permitted to fellowship with the children of the damned. So we, we reject the congregation of the dead. We can't walk agreement with sinners, with transgressors. But if we if we walk according to Yahweh's word, we don't fellowship with those who walk contrary to the word of Yahweh. For we're commanded to speak the same thing, to be of the same mind and same judgment. Therefore, if we believe the word of Yahweh, then we walk in fellowship with all persons who likewise believe the word of Yahweh and strive to live according to every word of Yahweh. We cannot be scripturally justified walking in fellowship with the transgressor of Yahweh's word. We must believe every word of Yahweh. Thus, we cannot fellowship with those who do not believe every word of Yahweh. So if you're in a false church who is not established from those six principles of the doctrine of Yahweh, then you must come out of that false church. You must leave that false church. You're better off staying at home than patronizing Fellowshipping with a false church. You're better off staying at home and hearing the truth of the gospel preach and teach on YouTube, Facebook, or television than patronizing, being a member of a false church, a false assembly. For if you are fellowshipping with falsehood, you're partaking of the sins of falsehood and you're going to receive of the plagues that Yahweh will pour out upon the workers of iniquity. We're commanded to mark them that cause division and offenses contrary to the doctrine of Yahweh. Mark them and have no fellowship with them. For those who preach, teach, and practice any belief, any doctrine contrary to the scriptures, they do not serve our king, Yeshua HaMashiach, but they serve their own will. And by good words, the first speech deceives the hearts of the simple. It's written in Second John. Second John. Chapter 1 and verse 9. Whosoever transgresses and abides not in the doctrine of Hamashiach hath not Yahweh. He that abides in the doctrine of Hamashiach, he hath both the Abad and the Son. That come in unto you and bring not this doctrine. Receive him not into your house, neither bid him Yahweh speed. When he bids him Yahweh speed, it's a partake of his evil with you. So we commend not the fellowship of falsehood. You're not justified walking with a brother or that whom a person who is called a brother or a sister who believe anything contrary to the scripture. You must forsake those who are sinners. Can't walk hand in hand with sinners. You must walk with those who are in agreement with the word of Yahweh. True unity are those who have been joined together by the one spirit of Yahweh. Who have likewise taken on the one, taken on the baptism of the Holy, of the one, one of baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. This is our true unity. Those who have been united in the spirit of Yahweh, who have been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, who walk according to 
the eternal standard of Yahweh. That is the Sephiroth scripture. We cannot fellowship with the congregation of the damned. But we must fellowship with those who walk according to the scriptures. So this is our stand. The word of Yahweh. And our fellowship is with those who have that light presence faith. According to the scriptures. So if you're walking according to the scriptures, if you're living according to the serve by scriptures, you have that like present faith. But if you don't live according to the scriptures, you don't possess that like present faith. That means all who possess the like present faith of the scriptures, they have likewise repented of their sins. They were baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sin and the regeneration of their soul. And they receive the initial infilling of the Holy Spirit baptism as initial evidence by speaking in a tongue and y'all permits one to speak, and they live according to every word of Yahweh. That's how you obtain the life present faith of the scriptures. Do I say unto you, examine how are you living? Your manner of life is according to the scripture. Or is it contrary to scripture? And if it's according to scripture, then your life will be built and rest upon the principles of the doctrine of y'all. And again, I say the principles of the doctrine of y'all are as follows belief in strict monotheism, absolute one God, belief in mere man Christology, belief in the new birth according to Acts 2 38. Belief in the feast days, belief in the dietary structure, and belief in living set apart. These are the principles of the doctrine of Yahweh that a man's life must rest upon, that must be built upon. If your life is not built upon those principles of the doctrine of Yahweh, then you're not of Yahweh. You're not seeking to be like Yahweh or be one with Yahweh rather. For only, for only the third part will make the first resurrection. As written in Revelation chapter 20. The book of Revelation chapter 20. And starting at verse 6. Book of Revelation chapter 20 verse 6. Blessed and third part is he that is part in the first resurrection. On such the second death have no power, but they shall be priests of El and of Hamashiach, and shall reign with him a thousand years. And turn to Revelation 22, and starting at verse 11. Revelation chapter 22, verse 11. He that is unjust, let be unjust still. And he was filthy, let me filthy still. He that is righteous, let me righteous still. He that is set apart, let me set apart still. So it is the set apart who will make the first resurrection. Only the set apart. And to be set apart, you first must be born again. See, those who are set apart are those who have been born again, according to Acts 38. And live according to every word of Yahweh, thus living a set apart lifestyle. But if you have not been born again, you will not make the first resurrection, but you will make the second resurrection, where you'll scarcely enter the renewed Shamaim and the new the rest. See, the righteous and unrighteous will make the Second resurrection to be judged at the white throne of Yahweh. But the set apart will make the first resurrection. So if you strive to make the first resurrection, you first must be born again. And there's only one way to be born again according to the set apart scriptures. 
you must obey Acts 2.38. But only Acts 2.31, or Acts 2.38, rather. Only Acts 2.38 can cause a man to be set apart. Only Acts 2.38 can make a man be set apart unto Yahweh. If you have not obeyed Acts 238, you're not set apart. See, there are three classes of persons according to the scripture. There's the set apart, there's the righteous, and the unrighteous. The righteous and unrighteous will make the second resurrection. It's the righteous that will scarcely enter the renewed heaven and renewed earth. But it's the set apart that will make the first resurrection and, to be and will be guaranteed entrance into the kingdom of Yahweh to come and will enter that renewed heaven and new earth. You must live set apart. And to live set apart, you must be born again. To all, the only way to live self apart, you must be given a renewed nature and a renewed spirit. That's why I exhort and admonish you to examine how were you born again? How are you living self apart? For if your life is not built upon and being built upon, those principles of the doctrine of God. You're not living self apart. If you have not been born again, according to Acts 38, you can't live self apart. Let me say it again. If you have not obeyed Acts 38, you cannot live self apart. For only those who obeyed Acts chapter 2, verse 38, can live self apart and understand what set apart living is and what does consist of. So examine yourself. Examine how you're born again. Examine how you live. Is it according to the scripture or is it according to your own understanding and your own interpretation and your own application of the scripture? Because in order to properly apply the scripture, you must possess an understanding and discernment that can only come from our Yahweh himself that you may live self apart. So come back to scripture. Come back to scripture while you have opportunity. Don't take for granted that you have received the true gospel. Because the true gospel of Yahweh is built upon those six principles of the doctrine of Yahweh. And again, the six principles of the doctrine of Yahweh consists of belief in one God, belief in Miriam Christology, belief in the new birth code Acts 38, belief in the feast days, belief in the dietary structure, and belief in living self apart. These six principles will undergird the gospel of Yahweh. And if what you have received is not established upon those six principles, then it's not Yahweh's gospel. And if not Yahweh's gospel, then you're not Yahweh's disciple. So it's time for you to come back to Scripture. Put aside your pride. Put aside your false gospel and receive the truth of the gospel that you may receive eternal salvation. It's time to come back to the scripture, fam. Repent of your sin. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of your sins and for the regeneration of your soul and receive the blessed baptism of the Holy Spirit as initially evident by speaking those tongues as Yahweh permits one to speak. It's time to do it now while you have opportunity. While Yahweh extends his mercy 
and capacity unto you to both hear his word that you may receive salvation. Time for you to come back to scripture, family. Forsake your man-made tradition to command the men and receive the truth of the gospel. Time to get right with Yahweh. Do it now while you have opportunity. Do it now. Turn from your falsehood. Turn from the congregation of the dead and damned. And receive the truth of the gospel while you have opportunity. Do it now. Repent of your sins. Be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ for the pardon of sins and the regeneration of your soul. Seek Yahweh till he fill your soul with the blessed baptism of the Seraphite Spirit. As initially evident by speaking of the tongue, and Yahweh permits one to speak. Strive to learn and master the principles of the doctrine of Yahweh. They may become established in the renewed man. O oh, Yahweh, in the name of your beloved Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I thank you for granting another opportunity, your servant another opportunity to speak and preach your eternal word. I beseech you, O Yahweh, they continue to draw your chosen, whom you've chosen for the founding of the world, to hear and receive your gospel. They are this word that you put into the mouth of your servant to be planted, nurtured, and be given increase into abundant fruit unto your Sweet smelling safe. Continue to guard, sustain, preserve us, your elect ones, all wisdom, patience, healing, and infinite mercy, O Yahweh. Open wide your chambers of blessing and windows shining upon your servant. Draw faithful support towards your servant. Rebuke and bind and cast out every evil work and work of darkness. I give you a name on. Glory and praise, O Yahweh. So be it, so be it. Remember, family, as you're able, please send a donation of any amount to the support and relief of your beloved brother. Guard your brother in prayer. Continue to stand firm in the word of Yahweh. I love you all, family. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.